Hello, my friends, and welcome to another stream of Adobe Live. I'm your host, Kieran Lewis, a freelance designer from London. And on today's stream, we have designer, illustrator, Jess Miller. Jess, how are you doing today? Hi, I'm doing well. Thanks so much for having me. Ah, my pleasure. I've seen your work <laughs> online and it's insane. I'm super excited to see Thank your progress you. today. It's going to be awesome. Um, I can see our friends coming in thick and fast on the chat as usual. Hi, Shelly, Kevin. Uh, please come in thick and fast. Uh, any questions you have for Jess while she's designing, I will be do my very best to make sure she sees that as well and gets into the flow. Um, and before we get into the real flow of it, just a little, little reminder. Uh, if you haven't already, please do, my friends, join the Adobe Live uh, via the Instagram because it's pretty awesome. Uh, at Adobe Live, you'll see on the link below. Uh, and there you'll see latest streams, updates, and so much more. So, my friends, that's enough from me. Jess, would you like to introduce yourself to our lovely audience and what you're working on for today's stream? Yes. Hi, everyone. I am Jess Miller. I'm a designer and illustrator, and I'm just showing you my website right now just to show you kind of my background. Um, I do nice. a lot of hand lettering, and I combine it with illustration, and... Um, yeah, I do a lot of, I, I, I license my art, so I, I license it on puzzles and greeting cards, and I even have nice. some fabric collections and some product designs. So no, yeah, I mean, when been... I checked out your work, it's so awesome. It's super cool. Super, super cool. Thank you. <laughs> my background is actually in toy package design, but I lost my job during the pandemic and I um, picked up the iPad and I segued into digital illustration and then it kind of mm. exploded in the past three years. And so now I have a full-fledged um, illustration business. Nice. I love that. I yeah. feel like that's like such a nice kind of story in terms of, because obviously that period, right, of the, the lockdown where, you know, ups and downs, but actually it's nice to kind of know you actually. Yeah. Found it's like the year. silver lining out of the pandemic, right? <laughs> yeah. Nice. Nice. Well, I mean, yeah, I feel like a lot of folks, hopefully they haven't already, they'll get a real flow after the history about, you know, who you are and also your process as well. So where are we jumping in straight away into? Yes. So I am going hemisphere? I am going to do a uh, live stream in Adobe Illustrator. Ooh. I'm actually going to do it in um, Illustrator beta because there's some really cool You're features that I want to share. <laughs> there's some cool <laughs> features that I want to share. And the project that I'm sharing is are these um, anniversary pins that I designed for Adobe. They're going to be handed out at Adobe Max this year. And they're anniversary pins celebrating how, how long you've been um, a user. So starting with uh, two years all the way up to 40 years, which is is pretty nice. incredible. <laughs> and so I'll just do a quick yeah. a quick overview of all. This is the the final pin designs, but I'll do like a deep dive into the the design. They look awesome, by the way. Thank very, you. Very cool. Thank you so much. <laughs> um, so yeah, I did like this overall like retro um, nostalgic theme. Like a lot of my illustrations are very like retro inspired. So I kind of wanted to lean into that um, nostalgia for for the pin designs. And mm -hmm. then um, each design, there's like a little Easter egg, like a little um, Adobe tool, like hidden in each pin. Mm -hmm. So for example, in um, the two, it's a disco ball. So there's sparkles and stuff, but I hid the magic wand in the two. <laughs> uh, I wonder where that is. I, uh... <laughs> My eyes. That's so yeah. cool. And then the five <laughs> is obvious. It's a paint bucket. Nice. Do you know what you say? You say it's obvious, but actually, it took me a while. It took me a oh, little while. To, <laughs> just a little while. Just a little while. <laughs> okay. Um, ten is is a retro camera, but I hid an eyeball in the camera because it's a throwback to the first um, Photoshop logo that used an eyeball in the design. So um, oh. yeah, I, I don't think a lot of people know that. So I wanted to um, hide that history in. lesson for us. To, yeah. uh, I love that. <laughs> Kieran, how long have you been using the Adobe products? Uh, I was just, when you're going through that, I was thinking, I actually generally don't. Uh, years, you have to do the math. Yeah. I, uh, if you got to do the math, you know it's too long, right? It's just, <laughs> how about yourself? How long would you it's, say for you? Okay, it's been almost 20 years. I was doing the math and it was 19. So I'm like, I guess we'll just round up to 20. I'm like, uh, I don't know. That's a long time. <laughs> Round it down, round it down, it's fine. Okay, round it down, round it down. Um, so yeah, 15, I, I hid the pencil tool in Adobe Illustrator. 20 is a little um, more 
um, interpretive. It, it's a, the swatches and symbols panel that I hit in there, but I thought it was a really cool design. So it kind of, mm. kind of meshed well. 25 is the transparency and blending nice. like modes. That. That's my favorite, I'm just saying. <laughs> Thank you. 30 is the pen tool. And um, it's also the free transform window. So it's a nice. two in one. 35 is like the 3D and extrude and bevel. Mm. And 40, I just kind of combined everything and did this like exploding head of knowledge. And so it, it kind of has... <laughs> all all the elements like exploding out of your head so yeah that's that's a I little that. background in um in the design and then i'll kind of jump into how how i started it and so sure. i um i first start out like a project like this since it was number focused i wanted to do mm. um, a font study so i um just went in the adobe fonts and i was trying to see like which fonts i liked best and i i even looked online and i found um this really cool font and it's actually a um a jpeg so it's flat and so i didn't know um what font it was and so adobe um illustrator beta has this really cool feature called the retype tool hmm. so you just select whatever image and then you go to your window scroll down to retype beta and then you get this little prompt and then with your image selected you just select enter retype and nice. then it matches like the closest nice. fonts and that's how i found that font and it's that's actually awesome. blenny black so that's how i found that font and it was an adobe font which is really cool so you just select it it's such a neat trick, right? Just to right? kind of like save so much time of searching the web. Like, I can't like, tell you how many times I found like something really <laughs> cool online and I'm like, oh, what font is that? Or what did they use? And I, I wasn't able to find it. So that's been like a total until game now, changer for me. Now. Yeah, right? <laughs> so yeah, it's really easy to use and they even find like the closest, closest fonts that they can find to it. So yeah, it's a really cool tool. Check it out if you haven't already. Nice. I can see as well. I, I, I should. I've actually waited because there is so much positive comments like coming from your designs and everyone. We've oh, got good. I've got to throw them out to you as well. We've got <laughs> Shelley. He said, uh, "Magic one, awesome." Uh, love the retro nurse. Loving these from Anika. Cool from Robin. Robert, I should say, and a great concept and idea from Kevin. So uh, yeah, so everyone's much. coming in thick and fast Thanks, to see friends. your designs. <laughs> Oh, good. <laughs> so, yeah. So in my process, I um, I sketched out a lot of ideas. I did some font studies and then um, I just kind of started drawing in Illustrator. And when I presented the first round to Adobe, I did um, two options for each number. And at the time they didn't, it only went up to 35. So I, I did the 40 um, later on. So that's why it's not included in, in this round. But um, but yeah, so you can tell that like they picked up some as is, they combined some ideas and um, it kind of like evolved as, you know, as mm. we progressed in the project. But I also did three, um, I proposed three color options. So this was the one that they ended up going with, which I really liked. I really like these colors. And then... Um, Recording in progress. Got it. And then uh, this is another... Um, another color option and mm. then i propose the third one and i'm going to show you another really cool ai feature where you can Very generate cool. like limitless color options and so mm. all you do is select your art mm. and you go to let's see edit edit colors generative recolor beta and then you get this panel that that shows up oh, that's neat oh. I lost it. Okay. <laughs> and um, they give you sample prompts so that you can you can do um, you know salmon sushi, and they they generate they automatically generate these colors for you. Mm. And you can also um, type in your own prompts, so you can do something like um, retro inspired. Sushi. <laughs> candy <laughs> colors. Candy, candy colored colors, nice. <laughs> forest. I don't know. I'm just like, I'm just spitballing. 
that's the best ones though right you never know it's gonna pop up it's exciting right just, and it's like yeah. a really it's a mix of colors and it's kind of it's retro and it's it's fun it's i just love this because sometimes you get stuck on color and you just need like you need yes. an idea and then you're just like oh this you know it's it's an idea generator and um that's so anyway so it's it's really cool and i and i use this um to generate to help me generate my my color palettes nice right. just on that we had a comment actually from I get this right from where was ah yes from uh luciano who said uh super cool to create different stuff with the different elements keeping the same style because actually as a question i was gonna ask because there are so many awesome variants of the numbers like do you get to a point where you it was tricky to think of the next one or did it oh yeah come yeah to it mind? was <laughs> Yeah, because <laughs> it's like there's so much goodness there on the screen. It's like ah. I know, yeah. And yeah. then some of them like I really liked, but then they didn't choose. So I'm like, well, I'll save it for another project. Or, of course, but yeah, it yeah. was um, it was a lot of fun. Yeah, I I really enjoyed this this project. Awesome. So yeah, now I'm gonna dive into the actual uh, design. Yeah. Oh, here are down. oh before we do that, here is um the round with the forty. I just want to touch real quick so it was like towards the end they were like oh we actually want to add like a 40 pin and I was like okay so um we I did two options and the one on um the left I so I was kind of inspired by the camera and I'm like oh what kind of other like retro equipment could I do and I thought of like one of the first like Mac computers and I'm like well this nice. is probably the computer that like you know, someone that's been using the Adobe software for 40 years probably started on this computer. So okay. I really... We love PCs too, though. We love PCs Oh, that's too, true. Though. We love PCs. Yeah, sorry. It's we love okay. PCs. We don't judge. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. That's um, awesome. <laughs> so yeah, they and Adobe really like this design, but um, but it's Max, it's also Max 40th anniversary. So they are Apple's 40th oh. anniversary. So they didn't want to like confuse the two. Mm. So um so they went with the head, which I actually like just a smidge better. I think it's, you know, yeah. it's a really fun design and it encompasses, encompasses everything. I mean, so. I feel like that is exactly how creatives try and get their ideas, right? The idea of just things kind of coming out, you know. Right. Exploding head of knowledge. Is, is, <laughs> I love that. We have to put on a t-shirt, actually, explain head of knowledge. Yeah. I, um, again, the comments are coming in. We've got, uh, yes, Anthony, very, very cool colors. Um, and Clever said, uh, I guess mine would be 25 plus. <laughs> dot <laughs> no, no, not old experience. There we go. Like yes. a fine wine, Clever. Like a fine yes, wine. yes. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Okay, so now I'm going to kind of dive into my uh, design process of these pins. And I'm going to design three and we'll see, you know, if I... If we have extra time, I can design another one or yeah, we'll see how it goes. Yeah. But I'm going to start with this, this camera one and show you kind of how um, I just used like basic shapes in Adobe Illustrator to create it. Mm. That sounds like a plan. Uh, yes. We've got a, a question. Um, it's again, I always say to our lovely guests, it's such an art to be able to design and also answer questions. So <laughs> feel free to take your time and, and, and go back and forth and I will strategically put them through. Uh, but we've got a question if when you're in a good space to answer it um, from sure. Anika. Uh, it's actually from YouTube. Uh, it said, what's the difference, would you say, between the illustrator and the beta? Um, they're both very similar. Um, I would just say the beta has um, a few new AI features. So like the retype tool and the... Um, and the generative recolor is new in the beta. And then I think there is like a, a cool layers thing where you can search for your layers, which is cool mm. in case you get lost, but that's like a new um, beta feature. But yeah, it's very similar. There's nice. just a, a few um, new features. Nice. I mean, just to echo that as well. I mean, that's the, that's the key. And I feel like there's so much sometimes to, to try and, you know, gather in thought. So again, go on the Adobe site and you, again, there's always little tutorials or things you can watch to even help you, you know, get better at the tools because Absolutely, I guess they're yeah. there just to streamline your process now, just to make life a little bit easier for us uh, so we can really focus on the fun part. Creating. Absolutely. Yeah. So right now I'm just using simple shapes to create my retro camera, kind of build out the body of it. Do you have a retro cut? Like, did you have like a, a an example to go by? <laughs> so funny story. I mm. I do. It's it's a new digital camera, but it has like a retro style body to it, 
And cool. I got it as a gift from Adobe Max in 2015. They gave every person, every attendee, like, I don't know, like a, a $1,500 camera. Like, it was so nice. Wow, where was I in this period? Where was I? This sounds amazing. And then the next happening? year, I think they, they switched to sweatshirts. So I'm like, so yeah, thank they you. got rid of like the really fancy gifts. I love that. I feel like you're doing your thank you gift on behalf of the camera that was given to I you. Am, I was the like, pins. yeah, here's a little, uh, yeah, throwback uh, thank you present for that. Yeah, that. it was really nice. And I used it a lot, actually, when I, I traveled and I, I was really into hiking and I hiked mm -hmm. everywhere with it. Nice. Let us know in the chat, my friends, if you, if you retro cameras, do we still, I, I, I feel like everything's on the phone right but it's quite nice to actually have an actual it tangible is really nice. polaroid or let us know my friends in the chat do you have one do you use it a lot if so <laughs> would you like to do a vector star version of it <laughs> we'd love to see it <laughs> so right now you're kind of just layering your your shapes to kind of i am yeah i'm kind of just building yeah. out the buttons and the body do you um uh, Kirsty, when you start building your graphics on Illustrator, do you ever draw them out and then jump on? Or do you, in your mind, you kind of know? I do. Kind of... It's like half and half. I do mm. sometimes, if it's like really like geometric, like this camera, it was pretty easy mm. to build out in shapes. Um, but for like the head one, I actually like sketched out. It was like a little more organic. So I, I needed my sketchbook nice. for that. Nice. Yeah, it's interesting how some stuff is just easier to to draw within the app and then other things yeah. are like oh wait i kind of gotta like draw this out in my <laughs> mind before about that. i can figure <laughs> it out on the computer <laughs> life before computers eh? oh, yeah. right yeah <laughs> but i've been like painting a lot more and like just mm. drawing in my sketchbook and it's actually kind of refreshing because it's like you can't undo so you have to be really like intentional <laughs> with your marks and um there's no control z yes yeah and i know some people like hate it but i'm like i don't know mm. i'm just gonna embrace it and like you know it is like perfect mistakes right i love i feel like that is that's <laughs> such a like interesting comment as well just that perfect mistakes because i don't know if you find it but the more we get experience in this field the more we don't mind maybe taking those risks sometimes because we've kind of built up enough um of experiences from making mistakes in the past that if you make one it's like oh okay i just learned from that and you you kind of move on i think sometimes maybe the university stage or maybe when you're starting out that's the hard part right because you don't right. want to make a mistake in case you you know mess up it's like um, a confidence any, um, thing right so it doesn't say well should do it. have you got any advice for maybe those in the chat if they are say students or grads who are just starting out about that confidence thing yeah um, i think a lot of it is um is just being consistent and like showing up and just um because i know a lot of us have like imposter syndrome and we're afraid just to like show our work but i think the best advice that i ever i ever received was to take imperfect action and just kind of put it out there and just create and then mm. even if it's like a big flop or a big mistake you learn from it it's like a it's like a learning experience so think of it that way nice. <laughs> No, and actually that's so strategically led me into this idea of saying if you have been first time watching adobe live and i promise you this wasn't planned because it's actually generally a nice little way to intro it um if you are watching adobe live for the first time uh welcome if you're new youtuber hearts um and if you would like to do what uh jess is doing as well and maybe come online um and hopefully be a guest then there's a little guest recommendation tab on the behind so click on that and and please submit away and uh and show us your design process we'd love to see it my friends yes I'm loving this camera though. I feel like <laughs> bringing it right back to the retro days. Yeah. Stranger yes. Things kind of vibe. <laughs> and this is um, another one of my favorite features that I love in Illustrator is the draw inside. And I just like found out about this last year, but it's really cool. It um, So when you select your shape and you click on it and then you can, it just treats it like a clipping mask. And then it puts like any kind of shapes or art like inside of that shape. And so that's what I use to kind of build like the colors in the eye. I use this all the time. That's it's awesome. that is really it's good. Yeah. So convenient, and I don't have to do like a clipping mask for everything. So I was just thinking that the clip, the good old clipping mask, which we right. all love. <laughs> yeah, that I love it. So it's, it's been a total game changer. 
I feel like there's something quite therapeutic as well about what you're doing. And so I don't know if you ever find, I mean, you obviously do a lot of these designs, uh, you know, as part of your craft, but perhaps it's what, because you're working with shapes, color, and it's kind of like puzzle like, you know? I don't know. I yeah, get, I mean, for maybe sure. That's quite, do you find it therapeutic? Or is it? Something I do. That, yeah. I, I there's know. been times when I'm just like designing and I kind of get in the zone and, um, nice. yeah. Nice. Designing for fun, my friends. We don't forget <laughs> that. We design for clients. We, we've got to pay the bills, but designing for fun also Absolutely. important as well. So now I'm just going to put a stroke on everything. And these are going to be handed out at Adobe Max. So if you're going to Max, definitely pick one up Look for, for your anniversary. <laughs> Hashtag I Jess Miller. I, love it. <laughs> I will be there. So yeah, like let's meet up or hang out. Ah, uh, yes. I mean, it's come back some around so quickly now. I feel like. Oh my gosh. So wow. Quickly. It was only last year we were doing it. But uh, yeah, definitely. I'm sure my friends, if you, you'll probably see uh, much more and more promo leading up to it. But yeah, Adobe Max, definitely. Yeah. Uh, Check I'm also check a lab. Pins. I'm also a lab instructor this year. <laughs> I'm teaching Hi. a session on um, expressive hand lettering in Adobe Fresco. So be sure to sign up for it if you're going to Max. I'm I'm totally nervous about go. it, but it'll it'll be great. It'll be you'll be awesome. Perfect mistakes. Remember what we said. There we go. We're, we're yes. Yeah. Take uh, <laughs> perfect action. Right. So now I'm going to build. <laughs> build the eyeball from a square and basically how you do that is you make a square and then you direct select the opposite nodes and you just drag them in and you can get this cool eyeball shape i'm actually gonna flatten it expand it and that's how you get this cool eyeball nice perfectly Space that as well, which is nice. yeah. <laughs> There's a quite a funny comment there from Anthony Jackson. He said, uh, Anthony Jackson, the full name there, so so formal. Uh, can you imagine doing a project hitting without hitting Control Z? Can you imagine doing an entire project <laughs> without hitting Control? Maybe people do. Do you, Anthony? I, I actually um, I did watch a YouTube video of a gal that draws in Adobe Fresco and she intentionally yeah. turns off like the undo so that she wow. yeah it's like almost like drawing traditionally but with like digital media oh. it's interesting i don't know if i don't know why that stresses me out a little bit but i, I know like that's pretty <laughs> it's pretty awesome but just i don't think i'm that brave enough who right? else is that brave let us know. I don't know have you actually done it let us know in the chat if you've done it if you've brave in the world about control z live a little, <laughs> <laughs> live a little. yeah i think her her name is um or their name is chris chris campo and she they were a um uh, Adobe Max instructor last year and I watched their video nice. and it was uh, pretty cool. Okay, and now um, I used a font for the one and I believe it is Alfarn. I so I just... Names of font sometimes. Yeah, <laughs> it's so silly. <laughs> so I um, I just chose this this like chunky font for it. Nice. Kind of works well though, right? That font for the with the sort of graphics and the yeah. geometric shapes. It's just works in well. And I just put a little detail inside the one. Nice. The thing about <laughs> Illustrator. Uh... <laughs> There's like a million different ways you could do like the same thing. So I'm sure like, as I'm doing this, people are like, there's an easier way you could do that. <laughs> or... no, do you know, it's funny you say that. I always say like, this is the beauty, right? We do, I do these streams because you yeah. could be watching it, my friends on stream now and thinking, oh yeah, there is a way. But then we've come to see Jess Miller's way. So I think that's the beauty of seeing how, <laughs> you know what I mean? It's just like, the way I do it, I guess. of course. Yeah. <laughs> And then to, um, us, so yeah. <laughs> to do the little flash burst, I just select the star shape and um, you can adjust the number of uh, points. I think that there's like nine points on that one. We'll try that. And I think it's a little, a little too pointy. So I'm going to bring it up a little. Okay. That looks pretty good. Nice. And I just, I made my little burst and that's, 
and that's the can, the retro can you imagine camera a flash just... that size just comes at you just like <laughs> it's almost like <laughs> like a spotlight from it yeah i love it though it works so well so and i love yeah. actually the fact that how you've got um obviously the 10 the zero being the eye as well i mean if it's the actual lens but it feels quite nice yeah. right? that's sort of i i love like hiding symbols and stuff in my design and like mm. even like um funny puns like i love to illustrate uh puns and then like incorporate into my illustrations so there's like um it just like enhances storytelling i think so jess you're my new favorite friend <laughs> i love pun i i mean we've done a few streams on it and if anyone has watched a few of my streams you will know puns occasionally come out so if you want to drop one in now and again in this stream hey. they're not lost on me i promise you or our guests i imagine as well in the chat <laughs> we do love a pun here that day we live <laughs> Yeah, so now I am hopping into the 20 design and this one is is basically just um, built with squares and how I kind of manipulated square shapes to create it. And um, yeah, I'm going to start building it out. Nice. And I just direct select that node and I can get this like quarter of a circle shape, I guess a piece of a pie. And I feel like I've occasionally seen your tablet come out. What's your device that you're working with? So our friends can kind of have an idea. Yes. Of what's your, so what's your I recently, <laughs> I recently switched to a Wacom Cintiq and I really love it. So before I was just on my uh, laptop, I have an iPad and then I, I just have a laptop. And then a, I had a really tiny Wacom like Intuos, like that I would, um, cause I've never, I haven't used a mouse in probably like, 15 years <laughs> I've just used I've used a pen so I've gotten yeah. very like accustomed to a pen and yeah. um I used a Wacom Cintiq at my old corporate job and I really enjoyed it but when I got laid off I had to um give it back to the company and wow. so I finally like bit the bullet and I invested in one myself and I love it I absolutely love it so nice. if you're someone that likes like drawing on a tablet like this is it's amazing because it's about triple the size of my iPad and I can, it's, it mirrors all of my, um, my laptop. So I, I can access mm. all my files and like apps and everything on my computer. And it's just this giant tablet. <laughs> so it's, I love it's it. amazing. You definitely, you sold it to us, Jess. I love that. I feel like, um, and I guess it's what it just makes your life, uh, or even your work process so much more streamlined now. Cause yeah, I, I'm so comfortable does. as well with the tablet and, um, yeah, it feels weird sometimes jumping back on the mouse. I don't know. It's just forever, right? forever the tablet. Um, but know. we do love mouses here. We're not, we're not segregating any <laughs> mouses here. If you are a mouse lover on, on the day we live, we're all good for Nothing it, wrong. <laughs> nothing wrong with it. Exactly. Everything <laughs> is welcome. <laughs> Each to their own. <laughs> so now I'm just, I'm just creating these rainbow lines. To go along with my retro theme. Nice. It's a good time to mention. Um, so half an hour has already gone by in this stream, my friends. I mean, it goes crazy quick, right? It That's goes so universe. quick. <laughs> um, if you have just joined us, uh, a massive welcome. Where have you been? But, but massive welcome regardless, nevertheless. Uh, we Today we have illustrator and designer Jess Miller, and she's creating some very awesome uh, pins on Illustrator for the Adobe Max 2023 this year. Um, so yeah, uh, get those questions, anything you have about the Jess designs process, colors, shapes she's using, let me know in the chat and I will, uh, share that directly with Jess. So welcome. Yes. I'm so excited to be here. It's my first time going live. In gen, like <laughs> ever? Or um, I mean, or? I've gone live on like IG <laughs> a few times and then I did once, like I did like a live, like drawing with my friend okay. Jess, another Jess. And so yeah. um, that was that was a ton of fun. Um, mm. But yeah, it's my first time going live with Adobe. You're smashing it, Jess. You uh, are smashing thank you. It. Just, <laughs> it's awesome. I, uh, where are you tuning in from as well? Like where's where's home for you? In California, no? Los Angeles. Yeah. So we oh, have sorry, a quote interest. unquote hurricane um, like on Sunday. And um, it wasn't that bad it, for me anyway, it was just a ton of rain. I think we got like four and a half inches, which is a lot mm. for us. Like that's like, that's like a crazy amount in like a single day. So, um, wow. but, but yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't any kind of flooding cause I live on a hill. So no damage for me, but I, I hear the nice. desert communities did get kind of flooded. So it was a little, 
a little rough for them. Oh, well, hope you're keeping safe, my friends, if you are in that in that region. But uh, yes, no, it's it's awesome to sort of see about where because again, that's the beauty right where we do these streams because. It, regardless of which part of the globe you're in uh you can kind of tune at different times of the day i mean i'm in london which is a little it's not actually actually it's quite nice down here actually uh, and what's yeah, what's the remember. time for you karen the time is nearly bedtime uh 7 <laughs> 7 p.m well it is when you've got a new board 7 p.m uh is over <laughs> at the moment so nearly i remember dinner to when my daughter time. was born i was like oh 7 p.m time for me to take to go to bed <laughs> i was like i have to be it's up wild. in a few hours so it's like time for me to go to bed <laughs> I slept two nights in a row just to make up, just to be ready for the Adobe Live oh, today. Oh, wow. sure. okay. <laughs> no, I generally didn't, my friends. Don't don't feel that's gospel. But uh, you know, let us know in the chat where you're actually streaming in from. We would love to hear as well. Um, share, share, share away. I'm loving these color combinations you've got going as well, Jess. Thank you. Know? Yeah, this is this is a fun one. I think they're very bright and retro. Okay, now I'm gonna show you two ways that I make a flower or how I design a flower in Adobe Illustrator. Cool. So the first one, I start with the polygon tool, uh, six sides, so I make a hexagon and I use the effect, distort and transform, pucker and bloat. And then I use the slider to bloat and um. make petals <laughs> so there's again there's so many different ways that you can make the same thing in mm -hmm. um in illustrator and that's just one of the ways that you can make a flower and in terms of i'm quite curious because again like it's insane how um super quick you're able to kind of crack through the design and, and actually roll them out like were you self-taught did you study uni or what's your yeah kind of so i that, went to uh boston university and i have a bachelor of fine arts in graphic design and i graduated in 2008 which is um which is a tricky year because at the time it was like the height of the economic recession and like mm -hmm. you like re regular people couldn't find a job let alone like like fresh college graduates so yeah. it was like incredibly difficult to find a job and like the jobs that were out there like we really had to kind of like fight for and scrap for um but i got my first i landed my first internship with um disney consumer products and so Ooh. i actually um yeah it was fun I, I learned about licensing really early on and um and i got a lot of design experience and like uh package design and so um mm. yeah learning about kind of consumer products and like commercial illustration i started at nice. disney <laughs> that's a very cool spot i mean I'm, I'm always curious about like how i mean that's the beauty where we do these streams because it, it really ranges it's not all necessarily the educational route it could be literally right. self-taught and it could be i mean folks have other jobs, i so, learned yeah. like the basics from bu but i learned like like the nitty gritty design tools, like through my job. <laughs> it was like, nice. it was like, I was struggling like the first couple of weeks and my manager sat me down and he's like, okay, this is how you do this. I'm like, oh, I'm like, they didn't teach us this in school. Sometimes you need that though, right? I feel like that. Oh yeah, no, I was so well. like grateful for that. I was like, thank you mm. for like, you know, taking the time to like sit down with me and like show me the ropes. And so yeah, I'm nice. very grateful for that. Nice. Yeah, and an illustrator asked me this um, like a month ago. They were like, do you design with products in mind? And I was like, yes, I absolutely 100% do. And I think that just comes yeah. from like my background in package design and product of design. Course. But I, I'm i always like, oh, how how is this illustration? Like, is it going to go on a greeting card? Is it going to go on a tote bag? Is it this pattern going to go mm. on clothing? I'm like, always have like an end game in mind. So I'm not end just goal. kind of like mindlessly... Illustrating, <laughs> yeah, you know, my Leslie wing. I mean, that's sometimes... definitely a designer thing, isn't it? <laughs> right, <laughs> and sometimes thing, it like works out where it's like, oh, I never would have thought that that art would go mm. on a water bottle, but like, you know, it got picked up for a water mm. bottle, so it's kind of like a happy, um, happy accident. But yeah, okay, now I'm going to show you a second way to make a flower. Cool, which is kind of cool. 
So I'm going to build the petal first. And I use my pen tool to just draw a line. And I use my width tool to expand the top of it. And I go over to my stroke panel and I, I make the um, stroke rounded. And as you can kind of tell, it's starting to look like one petal. Mm -hmm. And then I uh, go to object, repeat, oops, object, repeat, radial. And it nice. automatically like creates this. <laughs> and you can adjust the amount of petals. So if you really, really want a lot of petals, um, I think I'm going to actually mm. make it less, but make my stroke bigger. So it kind of joins it together. And that's just another way you can make a, a cool nice. petal. And you can do that with any kind of shape, like a triangle shape or, or anything. And you can do that radial mm. design. I love as well, like, it's almost like a knowledge, it's just like instinct now when you kind of go through the the tabs and kind of know where to click. But I guess for anyone right. who's kind of watching and, and saying, oh my God, Jess with the ninja moves, like, I mean, that's the beauty of why you're watching these streams because you eventually learn, right? The more you watch and then um, it becomes second nature, no? And then right. Of your work, it's just, it's awesome to kind of go through it. And I did kind of get to the point where um, I was pretty good. I like memorized all the shortcuts and I was pretty good at like <laughs> just banging it out really fast. And then there was a time period where I didn't use it and I kind of forgot it all. So um, <laughs> I'll be going anyway, for that all the time. I'm, I'm telling you, uh, so <laughs> the, the newbies that want to learn, like if you want to be a fast designer, like learn all the shortcuts and it like cuts your time in half. It's crazy. There we go, my friends. You heard it first <laughs> from Jess, the design extraordinary. Like, yes, shortcuts Some advice. are your friends. <laughs> Definitely shortcuts are your friends. Uh, we've got a, uh, a a message from Ahmed who said, um, Jess, how did you find these color palettes? Yeah, so um, I don't know if you were tuning in earlier, but I, I did a demonstration with the generative uh, recolor beta tool in um, Adobe Illustrator beta. And it's really cool. I can um, I can show you real quick. You just go, you have your, um, your object selected. I'm just gonna select what I have here and then go to edit, edit colors, generative recolor. And then it gives you these AI prompts and they have sample colors as well as you can also type in your own prompt. You can, I don't know if anybody in the chat wants to give me a prompt or I can just come up go. with something. <laughs> throw, throw the prompts, my friend. Let's make this a group effort. Any yeah. uh, Rainbow. prompts for color schemes? Candy. Open the floodgates now, Jess. It could, <laughs> candy could Wonderland, any... I don't know. I, I typed in Rainbow Candy Wonderland. Let's see what happens. I feel like you, you've mentioned that line before, maybe. So I don't know. It was, it was too, too easy. Was too, I like, don't know. I don't, yeah. But it's, it's fun. Um, you could do <clears throat> mushroom forest. I don't know. Mushroom. Or why did Christmas nightmare come to mind? That's so Christmas weird. nightmare? I don't know why, like, Tim Burton's not like, I want to go, I want to go too dark in this. Okay. Room, you yeah, want to go was... dark? Okay. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I was just like, because it's like a nice alternate universe of like the flowers. Oh, maybe actually, mixed with, like... I kind of like those colors. That's kind of cool. Yeah. It's, it's a little. But I feel so silly now. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> We've got a few now actually. Ah, they're coming in now. We've got um, a Bomber Matcha Coffee. Ooh. Okay. Oh, Matcha, matcha Bird... Coffee? Matcha coffee, there we go. I thought that's cool. Birds matcha. in the sunset. Birds, birds eating candy. Matcha Barbie coffee candy. at sunset? Oh, let's try. Yeah, there's a lot of Barbies here, Olive. I can see. Oh, Barbie, Barbie land, from. maybe. <laughs> Barbie candy, Barbie mush. Everything's Barbie themed. Okay, is this, isn't this cool? So you can see kind of what, what colors nice. are generated. That anyway. black one was awesome. But yeah, yeah that's a whole right? different world, right? <laughs> So um, that's kind nice. of how um, those prompts triggered um, the color palette that I, I used or ended up using. Nice. Hopefully that answers your question, Ahmed. That was a good question, actually, especially for those who maybe just joined in now and, and missed out the um, the beginning part. So, uh, yeah, thanks for mentioning that. Yeah. When I did a little, kind of like this little sushi icon up here, forgot to do that one. I use I the distort and Ooh. transform tool quite a bit. Um, is that your go-to, is it? 
yeah you can just get a lot of really cool shapes and um yeah but I go can ahead imagine you just like ask. explore you just like experiment i feel like it because this is definitely your your zen space right illustrator I, yeah. like, I can imagine you're just like playing around and experimenting and that's awesome and i just have this like newfound love for illustrator now that i have a cintiq it's something about like the pen and drawing <laughs> it's just like so much yes. more natural and i'm like i i love it i, I just i love it and like it's funny because i i posted a reel like comparing the ipad and the cintiq yesterday and like i had a ton of yeah. illustrators that were like after watching this i want to go buy one now. <laughs> <laughs> you've completely converted them jess honestly though <laughs> i even said awesome. i'm like this is not a paid post this is just my honest <laughs> are you sure <laughs> jess <laughs> i'm like i was I mean, not you, you say that but uh <laughs> That's hilarious. So, yeah, so this is um the the number 20 design. And and I did like a, a last step. I actually um selected all of it and kind of gave it this like 3D effect just to give it more dimension. But um I'm gonna skip that and and jump into our next pin design. Nice. Whilst you do that, I've got a question for you from Anika. You sure. said uh did Jess start with monotones to get the colors? Or was there an initial color palette before using recolor beta? Yeah, I actually, I, the first color palette I started with was, it's actually in this document, so I'll show you real quick. It was actually this one, but um, something happened over here. Um, it was these, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, why is it all Glitch orange? in the matrix. <laughs> Glitch in the matrix. It was these colors I actually initially started with. And then I um, used the generative recolor to generate the other palettes. And then I kind of was like, oh, I like that pink or I like that green. And I kind of um, merged and made my own. Nice. Yeah. So, I mean, I like AI because it's just like an idea generator. It's not replacing my job in any way. It's just um, giving me ideas and like helping. That's my a whole stream flow. in itself, right? <laughs> <laughs> that is definitely a, how deep do we want to go into that conversation? But yeah, I, um, I, know, I totally right? agree. I mean, you know, <laughs> as artists, I think AI is kind of scary and it, it is to some degree, but you know, it's, mm. it's not, it's one of those things that isn't going anywhere anytime soon. So it's like, you might as well, like lean into the benefits of it is my yeah, advice. I love that. So see the positives and uh things to to embrace it. Yeah. Um, so I get that. I'm gonna work on this uh 40 pin design. And I already I started with the head. Like I initially had a sketch and I sketched it out, but to save time, I'm um I'm just gonna start off with this this head and using my my favorite tool I'm gonna draw inside. Just select orange. I'm just gonna yeah, definitely uh, converted Jess a few folks into the Cintiq realm. We've got Yay. Zorro. By the way, very <laughs> awesome name. Uh, Zorro he said, "I would love to see how." Um, let's start again. I would love to see how you have your Cintiq set up on your desk with your setup because I'm close to buying one. I mean, it's pretty difficult to. Show, yeah, if you go to my real. my Instagram, Jess Miller Draws, yeah. I posted a reel there yesterday, and you can see my entire setup with my desk. And um, so yeah, check it nice. out and see if it's there for you. you. I cover the pros and cons. The one con is it's not portable. Like this is a very stationary. It's heavy. It's like it's not going anywhere. So if you're one of those like um, nomadic designers and you want to go take it to the coffee shop, this isn't your your device. <laughs> this is not your domain. But no, yeah, yeah no. Zora said thank you. I feel like yeah, it's um, some gems you're you're throwing at us, gem, uh, gems. Some gems you're throwing at us, Jess. There we go. Alliteration. Yeah. <laughs> Do you talk us through what we're, what we're looking for now? Yeah, so I am just kind of drawing these like organic shapes inside um, the exploding head. I'm using the draw inside tool, which is at the bottom um, right here, the draw inside. And it's a really cool, like fast way without having to do a clipping mask. You can just draw inside of a shape and it's, it's awesome. And so I'm just kind of building out, I'm gonna use my star and um, kind of build out some of the elements in my in my little head. Nice. <laughs> Literally speaking, I love that. Just uh, <laughs> in, what's inside my head? The exploding head. Inside the exploding head. And I use the distort and transform tool quite a bit. And now I'm going to use the pucker tool 
to kind of um, give this four pointed star. And it's like really, really pointy. So I'm going to add, um, I'm going to soften it a little bit and add some. You can some... put someone's eye out with that, Jess. I know. know. It's... <laughs> so, Safety yeah, first, I... then teamwork. <laughs> I basically just added a stroke around it to um, to soften it, just to kind of, um, so it's not so like aggressive. Baby friendly. There we go. Yeah. Topics of, uh, <laughs> kids. Yeah, before. <laughs> Yeah, so then I just created this um, little four-pointed star. Nice. Okay, now I'm going to um, show you how I kind of created the, the zero. I'll work on the zero first. Whilst you're doing that, this is quite a nice time to mention to my friends on the streams. Um, so one thing we are doing more of a nice podcast. So if you haven't heard um, of our very own Teresa or from uh ooh, I say from adobe uh check her out she has some really cool conversations with different creatives uh we also got including puno from design studio um an educational platform i love creatives uh misha blaze so uh so if you're keen to listen a bit more and to find out a bit more about creatives just like just as well um definitely have a little search online for that um and you'll be inspired i promise you very much so uh Obviously, watch our stream now, of course. But after that, <laughs> check out Teresa All her podcast. There we go. <laughs> yeah, so I'm basically now just making this um, the zero and the forty three D, and I angled it, and so I'm just kind of, kind of filling in the holes and the gaps that are in my, it's my down and dirty way of doing it. <laughs> we've got Zoro. um he definitely had a he, i'm hoping you had two tabs up one tab being this stream and then the other your your reel because he went on and said great reel thanks for showing me the cintiq you had a check out on your oh awesome on your so, um, <laughs> so there we go my friends if you do check it out of course keep our tab thoroughly up on that screen if you have a split screen there you go don't leave us don't leave don't us leave don't us, don't leave us <laughs> that's one we for just after started. <laughs> exactly <laughs> That's a good time to mention timing actually as well because it's I that's my job right to make sure that you're in a good space so we are kind of coming up to nearly that hour mark which is insane how quick it's oh time wow it's gone Goes by so fast. Um, i will make sure i give you a nice heads up when we're actually on the hour mark but yeah very close into it now oh okay i have to go back because i slightly messed up i was chatting and then i was like I filled in the wrong uh, spot. Sorry, that's me distracting you. I apologize. <laughs> I, uh, I'll keep my questions hidden until, until it's a all good. No, no, ask as away, a reason. Ask <laughs> I was just like, wait, why is this looking weird? <laughs> it's so funny too. Like I had to practice this um, beforehand just because like a lot of times when I design, I'm just like in my zone and I'm like, I don't even remember like how I did that. It's like kind of muscle memory. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, oh wait, now I have to like, talk it through. <laughs> and like to talk about my design process who, who does that who talks through their design who we do it at adobe that? live that's what we do <laughs> adobe live guests they do they do it very well so there we yeah. go um but it is yeah there's definitely uh an art being able to to talk conversation uh have a conversation right? today and also design but you're doing it very well so oh, thank you there we go there we go so now i'm just gonna um switch the colors so that it looks like this additional zero is kind of popping out And I, I love my um, draw inside tool. Again, I I use it quite a bit to just draw shapes and colors inside. And it's it's just so easy. Nice. We've got a, a comment from Jess. Uh, he said, hey, Jess. Uh, sorry, comment from Jennifer. He said, hey, Jess, can't wait to see your pins at Max. Uh, are you going to Max, Jennifer? Let us know. But uh, there we go. We've already got our folks already super excited to to see your pins in order Yay. in order fruition <laughs> yeah it's gonna be awesome pick up your pin get those pins and also if you're at max sign up for my lab session I'll, i'm an instructor so there we go come say <laughs> hey come say hey say hey jess say, hey, jess i've got your pin <laughs> just like get a photograph of the maker of the pin yeah <laughs> This be your first Max that you like. I oh, know you've been to one. Sorry, before I've you been. mentioned. Been yeah. so I went last year and then I went yeah. in 2015. So 
Nice. Yeah, but I've been I've been twice, so this will be my third time. Uh, oh, so you're okay. So you're veteran when it comes to visiting Max's. Okay, nice. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> I've yet to been to one. In, I've done. I mean, I did. Oh. Um, I spoke at Adobe Max, but it was during the COVID period. So oh, it was all okay. Online. Plus, being in London is a bit difficult. Uh, unless it's the yeah. London Max, that's different. But yeah, I would love very much to go to the. And One you got a baby, so you you got your hands full. Ah, uh, we got. A, I mean, that was that was pretty fresh. That's super new. Like, like, yeah. Like Would you say she's like exact. a month yeah. old? Your baby's a month old. She's literally a month last week. Yeah. Wow. So that's that's super pretty fresh. fresh. Pretty fresh. Super fresh. But she's already. I'm already teaching her about the pen tool, and she's getting there. She. Uh, <laughs> who knows? Baby, uh, don't be live. I'm just saying. I. <laughs> it could be weird. a thing. It'd be difficult, but it could be a thing. Um, we got a question from Kevin who said, uh, ah, can we get a pin if we're not attending Max? Oh, that's a good, good question. question. Um, yeah. actually, I don't know. Um, Ooh. I'll have to check in for you because I'm, I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah, because I, I want to because I know a lot of my friends will be like, oh, give me a pin, give me a pin. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I just see like a briefcase, like loads of pins and alleyway. Just like, I'll cut <laughs> I'm, these I'm pins. a peddler, just being like. Here's your pin. <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> That's a good question, actually, Kevin. Um, if anyone knows, actually, uh, let us know in the chat. Um, but yeah, that's something yeah, that's, that definitely that's do a bit of research. Um, because yeah, a bit of shame. I and mean, hopefully, you can attend uh, Max, of course. But if not, yeah, hopefully, we can still you can still get a pin somehow. So I'm I'm basically just right now just kind of um, making my four look. 3D and just kind of drawing in my my corners and my hmm. sorry, I was I was a funny laugh because um Anika, our amazing moderator, has just honed in on when I mentioned pins in the alleyway with the briefcase. <laughs> and I re I realized you know when you say it, and you realize how silly it's sounding and even it sounds silly reading it. But yeah, I definitely said there we go. But anyway, That's funny. <laughs> thanks Anika for highlighting <laughs> that. <laughs> I love that. So and so I thick thickness to your yeah your I just like to um kind of separate the shape with with color by color blocking I do that a lot in my um design I think it just it just adds like some visual interest and right now it looks kind of messy but I'll use the draw inside tool <laughs> to um to adjust it method to the madness I like yeah. to say Oh, that's a good question. Uh, from as a comment from Oliver, he said maybe they could be sold in the Max online store. Who knows? Maybe that'd very be cool. Question. Yeah, very question. So yeah, definitely check those out because um, yeah, I feel like folks are already wanting to get these pins already. Um, pins in a syntax. That's the it's in <laughs> syntax. Sorry, it's so, it's so I'm so excited I can't even say it properly. Well, wow. it's, okay, it's okay. <laughs> Okay, so that is, that's our four. I'm just going to draw a quick um, inline inside the four just to give it some more definition. It's such a nice like is I don't know what there's something about seeing beautiful colors on a screen and shapes that is just fun yeah. to look at. I, do you know what I mean? It's uh, I mean my world is very much um, editorial tech, so it's okay. fun, but uh, but it's not as maybe as 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 fun to look at sometimes than on your screen. It's illustrative. Um, yeah. <laughs> exactly, that's the that's the key we're looking for. But either way, it's still looking good. Very yeah, good. my my background is in toy package design, so um, mm. I'm kind of like a a maximalist at heart. I love like lots of colors busy patterns like lot like high energy um very nice. very youthful so i guess you could say okay um but yeah and then the four just kind of sits right mm. there next to the zero i'm gonna build nice build my little heart And 
whilst you're doing that, I'm quite, I'm always curious to know um, about how creatives uh, get into the, the real flow when they're designing, when you're designing, uh, do you listen to music? What's your kind of like jam in terms of like, what kind of gets you into that zone, I should say, as it were. And again, that's a question for everyone in the chat, you know, let us know what kind of gets you in the zone when you're on a deadline. What's yours, Jess? Hi, I would have to say Spotify or um, a good podcast or an audiobook nice. even. Um, ah. Maybe even Adobe stories. Live in the background. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> oh, I, I um, love the yeah. stories. <laughs> nice. I'm a That's storyteller yeah. at heart. <laughs> Yeah, podcast quite cool. Um, I always find like it, it's weird because like the time difference as well. But obviously, being a massive thing when you watch these streams, but like it's nice to kind of have things in the background. I don't know, people talking or if it's podcasts or again yeah. the daily live streams. Just it kind of keeps. I don't know. It feels like not everyone's asleep. If that makes sense, <laughs> obviously people yeah. are not. But it's if it's like if you're burning a midnight oil, as it were, on a deadline project. Um, yeah, kind of need something to kind of get you going. Though. But Spotify right. too. Yeah, total snap. Total snap. Yeah, and I work from home, so you know it's very solitary work sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, well, we're loving your setup. What we can see in the background, it looks like. It, in fact, I was saying before oh, we came yes. on the stream, our lovely friends, it feels a copy and paste of the screen into your backdrop. I love that. Like, I just feel like you are immersed yes. yourself in this shape and color space. I I do. Yeah, I love. Um, I put my husband helped me install this this bookshelf, and so I love to display like all my products and books and nice. all my past past projects that I've, I've worked on nice yeah that is an awesome tool when you show us about that kind of clipping mask or st not a clipping mask as well but the in beside the uh i i love it yeah, yeah and this is awesome. just kind of like the the rainbow i guess you could say mm. that that's popping out of uh and you can, yeah, it's like fully editable too. So you just double click on it and you can adjust nice. um, your clipping mask and remove it, whatever you need to do. Um, nice. Yeah. Oh, and then I, I made my little heart. So let's see if I can remember how to do this. <laughs> how I did this. <laughs> so I basically make, um, start off with this shape. This is a down and dirty way to make a heart. Well, I can see our friends. They're loving your process. We've got <laughs> Shelly. He's a beautiful process. So, uh, yeah. Thanks, Shelly. Loving those, uh, loving those positive vibes. So, yeah, I think I have to make it a little longer. But you basically make this kind of arc shape mm. and you angle it and then you just reflect it. And you can make a heart. Nice. Oops. Simple as pie. Yeah. So I can... And we made a heart. It's been really cool to like see <laughs> when you start off saying, okay, I want to make this shape. And then it just starts off not looking like the shape. And then before you know it, you've just done a few uh, <laughs> transitions or a few layers and then boom, right? there, there's your actual griff, which is Some cool. Some distort stuff. and transform. And then it's yeah. like, it's a star. Boom, right? <laughs> and here's what star. I made earlier sort of uh, thing. <laughs> very, very cool. Yeah. So um, now I'm going to show you how you can um, take these assets and add them to your library to create Adobe Express templates, which is um, super fun and plan. easy. Sounds like a plan. Okay. So you basically open up your um, library tab and I already created one. I started one, but you can just hit the plus and do create new library. And I did anniversary pins. And all you do is you just select your art and then you just drag and drop it in your library and then you can name it. 
it's already in here, but um, but you know, you can name it 40 Exploding Head, and <laughs> that's saved to your library. <laughs> And then um... isn't that what everyone calls their uh, their, their <laughs> library? <laughs> I thought I was the only one. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> and then I'm going to head over to Adobe Express. And if you're not familiar, um, I'll give you just a quick rundown. But um, you can start from your own content. So you can actually upload AI and PSD files direct directly into Adobe Express. And um, they give you uh, template sizes, so you can go ahead and create from scratch and do um, mm. Instagram square post, flyer, story, TikTok video. They have new AI features, so text to image. It's all trained mm. with Adobe stock images, so don't worry. <laughs> it wasn't stolen from artists or anything. <laughs> um, <and> so <laughs> you can basically <laughs> type in whatever kind of prompt you want, um, you know, like dream landscape on the moon or something like that and it'll generate you know a, a scene for you and you can also has new new text effects so apply styles and textures to type mm, that's a fun one though I, yeah, yeah that's, that's you can really get um lost with all those new ai features <laughs> mm. so i'm going to open a template that i started and show you just how easy it is to make a template with your branded content so nice. I have a couple of my pin designs dropped in here. You basically want to go to the folder, your stuff and go to brands and libraries. And then you can see all my colors. I added all my colors. I added my fonts and I added my graphics. So all I have to do is just double tap. So I need my camera. I just double tap and I, I just drop it into my template and it's so easy. And then dimples. Yeah, if I make edits in Adobe Illustrator, it automatically saves it. And so I don't have to like, it's just, it works harmoniously. It's, it's, it's intuitive, amazing. No? I love it. <laughs> nice. And I think that's the, that's the beauty, right? Especially if you're quite right. new to an express, just even if it might even, you know, seem slightly even daunting, you just go in there and have a bit of fun. And before you know it, you've just built yeah. up a, a few skills. And then before you know it, you're, you're creating some cool assets. So, uh, it's have very it. cool. Explore. And you can also um, share and collaborate with, with other people. Like if you have to send this to a client and they can make edits or whatever they need to do. Nice. You can schedule it ahead of time. So you don't have to, um, you know, do it the day before you can, <laughs> you can cool. schedule it in advance. And another one of my favorite features, they added animation. So let's, animate these let's um i'll show you what to do that you just go down scroll down animation they have animation options that come in as well as looping and if you hover over it they they'll kind of show you like a little um demo of what, what mm. the animation is and so i think i want to do a yo-yo but i want it to come in from side to side and you can adjust um the speed and the intensity of how you want to do it. I think that's pretty good. Let's do that. Oh, definitely a bit of a game changer, right? The animation, because I feel like yeah. it's one thing to see your designs kind of almost static like, but then when you start to bring it to and life, it just has I'm a also like, to it. I'm also like a print designer. Like, that's my background. So I do very like mm. flat work, you know, that's not animated. So like animation was this whole other like scary thing <laughs> that I'm like, ah, oh, I could never do that. But now like mm. Adobe Express makes it so easy. So it's like anybody can do it. So, nice. um, yeah, I love it. So yeah, I'm just gonna animate these numbers. Let's do a um, kind of like the pulse. That looks pretty good. Mm. And ten. Let's see. Maybe a wiggle. Okay. So now when you play it, it kind of shows wow, all the animations together. <laughs> <laughs> You're literally busting out the sides. I love that. It's just like, <laughs> that it's is so super fun. cool. So that That's was a cover I started. I just wanted to show you some quick things. I'm going to show you um, yeah. a quick template from scratch. So I'll show you sure. how easy it is to, to do it from scratch. And I um, designed this background in Illustrator. And so I saved it to my library and now I'm making it my background. Cool. And you can go to elements and you have all these different free elements to use. So from 
Adobe stock photos from frames, illustrations, overlays, textures, like they got you covered. I like it actually just for some basic shapes. Um, mm. So I'm just gonna use the square. And, but you can, you know, adjust the size of it. Let me know too if you guys have any any questions. I'm an Adobe yeah, Express ambassador, time. so I'm I know yeah. I know a lot about the program. I don't know I don't know if I'm like an expert, quote unquote, but I do know a lot about Adobe Express. There we go, my friends. We, we have <laughs> just hair literally for like 50 minutes left. Get those questions in there. <laughs> otherwise you're gonna otherwise you're gonna resent yourself when she leaves and be like, oh, I wish I asked Jess about oh, Express. So uh yeah, any questions about a design process or about Express, please do get us in the chat. It's just, That'd it's really awesome. easy. And I just like how it complements my workflow. So um, mm. as a designer, cause they just work together harmoniously with the Adobe products. I mean, that's the thing, isn't it? it when it's like, it feels like it's too disjointed thing. It's, it almost puts you off from wanting to even jump on it. But the fact that it's, it literally works hand in hand. Yeah. Makes life easier, right? And that's, to be fair, that's the key for any designer, right? We, we need to, we've got things to do. So we kind of want right. to keep busy things people, as streamlined huh? as possible. We are busy folks. Indeed, we are. So I'm just. Well, you guys are a... obviously not too busy to come on Adobe Live, so there we go. So <laughs> yeah, thank you. You obviously for made time me. for us, so thank you for joining us, our friends. You made time for us today, so uh, that we appreciate. So I think I'm gonna plop in the number forty. Let's pretend we're celebrating forty years. And this is just like a story kind of announcing like hey i'm celebrating 40 years in the adobe community that's like what i'm mm -hmm. i'm building that you can share on your social you're really making me wonder now how many years has it been now since i'm probably gonna you message gotta, you, you like tomorrow or just after the stream is done i'll be like jess i now know how many i checked my linkedin and i can have did the maths up yeah i definitely don't know <laughs> but it's still very very cool this this uh, project yeah, it's super easy just to add text. You can change the font. They also give you font recommendations too, which is pretty cool. Nice. You're like, hey, check out this font. Do you find well, actually um, with fonts? I think that's something that we when we have a lot of our streams, it's so easy to kind of get caught in that whirlwind of just what font is the right font and like i mean obviously this works really well with the shapes and the colors do yeah. you find even when you're working on other projects it, font can be a difficult thing sometimes depending on the brief of course but yeah um, yeah yeah for sure i know like when i worked corporate we had like mm. our five fonts that we use and like that was it and <laughs> i was brand. like itching to use something different so now that i'm an illustrator i'm like let's use this crazy font and Give like the nobody <laughs> I'm like no that. more Helvetica no more like give me the crazy <laughs> stuff give me the Austin Powers sort of themed uh... <laughs> so sometimes I, I question my own font choices and I'm like eh, I'm like it's eccentric I'm yeah. like if it works right. it works flaunt it there we go <laughs> anything but papyrus right Oh, that's my favorite. I mean, <laughs> I thought I thought Comic Sans was your favorite. I thought Comic Sans. Oh, we went down that path, didn't we? <laughs> See, that's a whole stream in itself. Now we could. Do... <laughs> we only got like, ten minutes left, but there we go. I love that. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> got from a safe space this... to a battlefield. I love that. <laughs> I saw this really funny um, reel of like this guy was like uh, dancing. He's like. Something like dances as fonts, and it was it was like all the cool fonts, like you know the Helvetica was like really cool, and then like Comic Sans was like outside of the house party. They're like, I want in, I want in. Look in the window, just like, oh wow! Send me that video, but that sounds hilarious. I I yeah, I love so many. It's so funny. Like <laughs> yeah, we can just you know say something like that. And we got our, our animation. Maybe we want to animate our text. Anika, 
or comic papyrus <laughs> question, <laughs> <or> question. <laughs> papyrus gets so much hate mm. it's okay i won't i won't judge you if you use papyrus yeah of course i mean i feel like <laughs> it's almost like type of i don't know why i've gone this path but like flavored ice cream though like we're gonna have there's gonna be someone out there that likes one that we're like mm, it's questionable but each to their yeah, own right each to their own but salted caramel is the best. I'm just saying. But anyway, that's a whole that's a whole different stream. <laughs> Stay professional, Kira. There we go. <laughs> um, so it's a good time to mention now. We've got about uh, five more minutes left. Okay, I'll, I'll wrap this up real quick. Uh, but that's not to scare you. No, no, no. That's, that's oh, okay, to say five okay. minutes left, and then we can do after that five minutes a nice little recap of what we've done. Sounds good. Um, Sounds for a few good. minutes, and then uh, because I want to make sure that we have a nice little um, how we can follow up with yourself, so that our lovely folks yeah. can about you but uh, i will give you a heads up when it's time so don't worry you're in a good space sounds good take all the time you need in the world only for okay. five minutes <laughs> i think i'm actually pretty close to done i love to add little um sparkles and just other elements to um to add some character to it add some pizzazz So this is me being very professional and my brain's clearly not working, but we actually have 15 minutes. So you're good. Oh, okay, for, okay. You can, <laughs> you, can, you can do a whole different design if you want to. For I have another design, so, the safe, yeah, so we can work on nice. that one as well. Nice. <laughs> Always keep a design safe for a rainy day. You never know, right? So I have a go. back one in my pocket just for that there reason. There we go. <laughs> We're doing good on time. I was. Did I say 15 minutes? I thought I meant an hour. Sorry. I mean, I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got an hour's work. I'll, right? be, sure. I'll be leaving early for lunch. <laughs> 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 that's hilarious but you're just in a good kidding, place <laughs> we'll be dead air no i'm just joking in fact that's a good time to mention that so we still have time for questions so there we go my friends oh yeah yeah Come fire fire so, away so get those you questions want. in because you you still have some time so uh, um there we go Okay, let's let's play this and see how it it looks kind of wow. crazy. <laughs> yeah, that's nuts. That's uh, I like maybe it, um maybe I'll turn off the animation. <laughs> it's too much. It's too much. Okay, it'll just kind of drop in. I'm also gonna change the color back to my cream, just so it's all on brand. Everything's nice. cohesive. Okay. You can also adjust the timeline. So you can hit edit timeline and you can um, edit each element. So you can edit their timeline so they don't all come out at the same time. <laughs> that that might help also. Nice. So maybe Otherwise it's like, a, like an attack, attack, attack. Yeah, right. <laughs> it's like too much, too much. I don't know. I'm just, we'll see. This might take hours to... Uh, <laughs> so you take advantage of my uh 15 minutes to, from five minutes to 15 to one hour, <laughs> to an hour. oh yeah let's that one kind of disappeared okay I have a question for those in the chat. For anyone yeah. who does um, have a bit of fun with the with the, the Adobe Express, let us know. Do you have a favorite animation tool that you use if you use Express? Um, if mm -hmm. not, let us know what you would like to maybe see. There we go. Oh. Just, uh, fluff thickens. I'm just mixing it up here. I'm just mixing I, it up. My uh, favorite is just like the breathe or like the wiggle or the pulse. Just like little little ones that just kind of like make your icons shuffle. dance. Yeah, just yeah, make yeah. your icons dance. But yeah, you can even club, yeah. <laughs> just like keep this as like a still ping or you could download um, the video. You just hit download and MP4 and you get your little little video. Nice, nice. Super sharp quality, I might add. Oh, here's yeah. another one that I, I designed ahead of time. I can just show you. <laughs> it's very similar. Course, I was following that way. design. I think I animated this one. Let's check it out. I probably did a better job. Yeah, yeah, just kind of a little nice. smoother transition. And then I'll show you how to do another one with a photo. So let's um, 
Sounds good. Let's get into that. So I have a black background. And I just go into my elements and I made these rainbow circles ahead of time. I saved them to my library and I can um, adjust the scale. And I think I'm going to, I'm going to put my photo in to say like, Hey, celebrating. Hey, do it. <laughs> Are you, I'm just, are you wearing the pins? I'm just saying, are you wearing the pins in this photograph or is it a... I am not. They haven't been made okay. yet. They're like, they're... Ah, uh, okay. okay. I know. <laughs> Believe me, I, I will I will <laughs> wear them with pride once... once uh, Social media is not ready for when ready. this day open. This day arrives. <laughs> I promise you that. <laughs> okay, so you go to media and you can actually... You could pop in like a, um, a stock photo if you wanted. I could just type in like mm. designer see what pops up and you got you know cute people with their computers maybe i'll just use a stock photo i'll show you how to use a stock photo yeah this girl looks pretty cute with her computer he's like look at my design okay now you can crop Just so it fits my template a little bit better. Got to go back to my, my branded content and then I can just start dropping in some icons nice and she's saying i absolutely love your adobe stream yes <laughs> i feel like that <laughs> that's what she's thinking right there. yeah she's like i'm such a fan of jess now <laughs> <laughs> she is a proud adobe community member nice <laughs> and now i'm gonna kind of build out this um footer let's see if i can put my square oops got a question um sure. from youtube uh they uh a lovely person's asked do these stock photos are they royalty free yeah um yeah. that's a good question I have the premium, so I think that they are all included with the premium. And then mm. there's some um, that are not, but I believe they are royalty free if with the premium. Nice. Nice. But yeah, always, always check my friends <laughs> if you're unsure, because you never know. Yes. But, uh, that's good to know. Yes, that, that is true. Good, good question. So uh, let's say maybe, maybe she's celebrating 10 years. Looks like it's kind of blending in, so I'll change the color. Mm. Like, yeah, maybe. But yeah, it's just so easy. Like I built like nice. two templates and like what, 20, 30 minutes, something like that. I love that. Insta, Insta story ready. I love yeah. that. Uh, maybe this will this will definitely animate and then we can add our text nice 
So I can definitely be much more professional now and honestly say we have generally got now five minutes to say this. Okay. Week. So that's probably perhaps a good, when you're in a good space, of course, um, yeah. maybe do like a nice little recap of what we've done sure. uh, for today's stream. Yeah, today's stream, I uh, showed how I created um, Adobe Max pins. They're pins that celebrate your anniversary for how long you've been using the Adobe products. And I showed how how I made these designs in Illustrator just using basic shapes. These pins are going to be um, handed out at Adobe Max. And I also showed how easy it was to uh, save your assets to your library and create Adobe Express templates from them and add animations and really cool effects. Nice. Could we perhaps, once you're in a good place, of course, with the Express, when we look back at some of the visual illustrations? Sure, yeah, you know, let's, we can, let's we can do it. That. Because then that kind of whets the appetite for those who maybe came <laughs> a bit later in the stream to be, oh, right. I want to rewatch these streams. So uh, there we yeah, go. Yeah, <laughs> so I, I basically just walked through my process. I chose three pin designs and I um, walked through my process and how I created them. I'm just going to scale them down so they fit next to each other. But that's... That was our live stream. And I showed um, some of the new... Uh, AI features in Adobe Illustrator, the um, generative recolor tool, and the retype tool that's available in Illustrator Beta. Nice. And I can see yeah. we've had, uh, I mean, again, so many folks have been absolutely loving your design process. Shelly's loved watching the process. And to be honest, it's been cool to sort of see you like, constructing them bit by bit. Again, you see, we can see the final thing, but actually taking us, walking us step by step yeah. of seeing it has been quite cool. I mean, I guess that's kind of how you operate in terms of all the other projects, right? You kind of maybe, like you said, you have the idea in your mind and you kind of execute it. Yeah, I do a lot of research too, um, you know, on online and um, just out and about and kind of like even like an antique store like this is like retro inspired. Mm -hmm. So I was really inspired by, you know, like retro products. And yeah, a lot of it is um, brainstorm and research. It's just kind of hard to show through um, a live stream because it's like in no, my of head. Course. <laughs> but even like it's funny, do you ever find like talking it for like now? I mean, you've done an awesome stream of like talking things through whilst designing. It's almost like a bit of a brainstorm sometimes because you're kind yeah. of breaking things down with the audience as well. So I mean, I did yeah. have to practice ahead of time just so <laughs> that I could, um, yeah, be like, oh, yeah, this is how I can talk through this. It's so, Jess, yeah. you'll be smashing all the, the next time we have you on, you'll be absolutely smashing the streams about yourself. Um, yeah. Have you any social media you want to plug or anything you want to show I do. Us? Yeah. Uh, you can find my personal website, uh, JessMillerDraws.com. And it has, it's just a portfolio of my work. You can sign up for my newsletter. And I have a monthly newsletter. Don't worry. I don't, um, I don't, I won't spam you. And um, I, on all my social channels, TikTok, Instagram, it's all the same. It's uh, Jess Miller Draws. And I show just um, a ton of videos and reels about my process different products that i i love that you can purchase um i have some tutorials about adobe express and and just a lot of my art in general <laughs> could i could i kindly art oh, or maybe it's a bit cheeky but uh, obviously it's good to hear it but can we maybe <laughs> see your webs because i know you had it at the oh, very yeah. beginning maybe just I to, did, yes. again for those who did come in like towards the end and maybe not saw it um just for like literally a minute or two but that way we yeah. can sort of see and these are in, some of my benefits. past projects. I I have two artist collections that are out now with Casetify and um, three are bestsellers. Oh. So check it out on their website. But I just, nice. um, this flower, this orange flower one is a bestseller. I I did a lot of um, different mushroom designs that were super popular. Sweet. Yeah. yeah I, I, so, it's so, so awesome. And it's, um, it's been actually my pleasure to kind of see uh and even talk you talk through and hear your design process so uh Thank and like you. I said obviously you're going to be at adobe max is that right as well just to, uh yes yeah. <laughs> i will be at um adobe max attending as well as a lab instructor i am teaching a uh, lab on expressive hand lettering in adobe fresco nice you heard it her first my folks my <laughs> friends so uh if you're at max you will definitely see jess so on that note, it's a good time to mention, stay tuned uh, for a new episode of Adobe Fonts. Join Ari and Ben and learn everything you need to know about fonts licensing. Uh, Jess, 
my absolute pleasure to host you. I hope you've had a good time. Have you enjoyed it? Thanks so much for having me. This was a blast. I really enjoyed yeah. sharing my process. No, nah, my pleasure. And I know I can see from the comments, it's absolutely all positive. So uh, thank you, my friends on the chat for keeping those, uh, keeping us going. And of course, for the Adobe Live team as well, making things run very smoothly. So on that note, we'll see you very soon. Hope you enjoy the stream and, uh, and stay safe. Ciao, ciao. Take care, friends. Bye.